Okay, guys. So I finally convinced Arvin to be in a video. Not but really. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't really want to be in the video. So this is my last day in the Philippines. I'll be leaving in a couple hours. We're going to talk about how we get through being in a long distance relationship. And I got some notes that Arvin has on his phone. What? Because no. <laughs> I'm recording on mine. It's his okay. notes, not mine. It's my notes. So, the first thing that we do is what? Video chat as much as possible. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, we video chat every single day. We keep video chatting like throughout the entire day. So, even when one of us is sleeping, we're still on video chat. So, that way, when we wake up, it's like we live together. It's like you wake up to your partner. And then what are the times that we video chatting? Sometimes when you're you're like making breakfast or something, you'll just bring your laptop down. Or like when I'm working on a website or something, I can just have like a small window on one side and then the other window um, is my work. So the small window is you on video chat mm -hmm. and then the larger window is um, what I'm working on. Or if one of us is playing video games on the computer, it still could be in video chat. Even yeah. So what else? So we video chat as much as possible. Every day, wake up each other, wake each other up for work, that kind of stuff. Watch movies together. Yeah, we can watch movies together. So the way we've been doing it, though, has been um, like we'll both log into Netflix and then we'll count down over video chat. We'll count down like three, two, one. And then we can hit play, and we'll be exactly at the same spot, watching the same movie while in video chat. So, what else? Your list is. Yeah, my list. <laughs> we honest? Yeah, we honest. <laughs> Probably we are honest with each other. Just be honest. Be honest with each other. Oh yeah. Okay. So, the other thing is to be honest with each other. Um, You're getting a little bit. <laughs> You're supposed to be in the video. So be honest with each other. Uh, one of the biggest things about a long distance relationship is creating trust because um, if you don't have that trust, you're going to be always questioning what the other person is doing. That takes a while to build up, but if you're together long enough, you'll, you'll build up that trust and it won't be an issue. What is it? The fourth one is meet the family. Yeah. And be part of events. Okay, so the other part was meeting the family. Um, that's the hardest part because for us it was that we were a secret relationship. It took me about three or four months to tell my family about Arvin. One of the biggest things was that I hadn't come out to my family at the time, so I had to do that at the same time. But I told my family about Arvin about four months. And it took Arvin about a year, a year and a half to tell everybody in his family about me. Um, so how did, tell them how the first person in your family found out. I don't know. So Arvin's, <laughs> Arvin's sister somehow saw me. Uh, I don't know if it was view chat or a picture of me. Mm -hmm. And then it was your mom, right? And then his, his mom, and then his dad, and then it wasn't for a while that your brother found out. Yeah. Like, well, my mom already told my dad. Okay, so his mom told his dad, but your brother. How did you tell your brother? No, I didn't tell him. His brother's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, how did he find out? Probably my dad. Probably his dad. Mom. Okay, well. It, Brother took a long time to find out about us, but once the families, both our families, knew about our relationship, it was um, it was a lot better. I think yeah. that takes a long time, so don't rush it. And then be part of events. So um, it was difficult in the beginning because Arvin had like your graduation, right? Yeah. Graduation for what? Like college. College, yeah. college graduation. Yeah. Yeah. And I, at the time, they didn't know about it, right? Yeah. So I couldn't really be part of your graduation. Yeah, we were dating for a while. Uh, yeah, see like, once the family knows about each other, you can start to be part of events. Uh -huh. And the last thing was 
be happy, right? Yeah. So, with a long-distance relationship, I think the biggest thing is people always worry about whether or not it's going to work out. But the way I see it is, as long as you're enjoying yourself and you're happy, I don't see any problem with being in a long distance relationship. Our first, our first like half year was kind of difficult, but like, at one point I realized that no matter what, we just, I'd always be in a relationship with you, mm-hmm. no matter how long it took. Small. And knowing and knowing that, I was happy. That, and at that point. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be for another year and a half before we actually met in person. Two years into the relationship. You are so hidden. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wrap this video up. There's Arvin right there. You can kind of see him. I've got two other videos I'm gonna post. One of me traveling to Australia and Hawaii um, for a quick trip and then uh, I'm gonna post the video of our whole trip here. Wanna say something, Arvin? Uh, I'm good. Bye bye.